in Acts chapter 2, verse 30, Peter seems to insist that those who respond to repent and be baptized could, could receive the Holy Spirit. But on the contrary, the teaching of Paul that baptism is not part of the gospel in 1 Corinthians 1 17, and that we are saved by faith alone, Romans chapter 4, verse 4, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9. Is baptism necessary for salvation? And what is the point of convergence between the two? Um, baptism is a physical action. Receiving Christ is a spiritual action. So when I pray for Christ to come into my life, it's a spiritual work. Uh, Jesus Christ himself says that the Spirit moves where he wills, and you cannot tell at what point the Spirit enters a person for the person to have life. Uh, so it's, it's purely the work of the Holy Spirit. Baptism is a man undergoing uh, a sacrament or a, a spiritual action. Both are important, but my reading of the New Testament say, tells me that baptism is a necessary physical action to demonstrate a spiritual reality. So a person can be saved and not be physically baptized. But the perfect thing is for a person to be saved and demonstrate their salvation by identifying with Christ in his death and resurrection through baptism. So the two go together and, and are, are supposed to go together. We, we get saved and we get baptized. Um, but if you want to be very finicky to draw the line, uh, the, the thief on the cross who was assured eternal life, didn't have the chance to go through baptism and yet was promised uh, life. And so uh, you can say, of course, uh, if baptism was critical, then he would have had to come off the cross, get baptized, go back and continue the crucifixion. Uh, but that's not what happened. Uh, but if he had lived afterwards, he would be required to identify with Christ in baptism. Uh, and, and to show all righteousness. Uh, as Jesus Christ himself said to John, this is to perfect righteousness. In other words, perfect that which God has put together.